go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song to sing. Good morning guys, happy Monday, rocking the TOC hoodie, which is not restocked, it wasn't restocked in this, this restock recently, but um, I plan on restocking it with some new colors probably after the summer. Not too many people wear hoodies while it's hot, like myself, um, got the yellow stringer on, new colorway, I got... Flying the 3.0s on, which are my go-tos. Ape joggers. And then rocking the Gucci watch today. Just got in, answer my emails, and then it's to work. We're gonna get some work done. Have some more water. Isominos. I'm on the Mighty Melon right now. They're out of Sour Batch Kids. And then I got an Orange Monster. So, uh, long day today. It's going to be a productive one. Hope you guys are having a good morning so far. You'll see this on Tuesday morning. But uh, let's crush this week, all right? PRs, new weigh and lows, um, progress in and out of your life. Let's crush it. I just posted this on Instagram. <clears throat> Focus. Oh, my boy Kyan. Shout out to Kyan. Anyways, the quote that I put down is, I, I preach it all the time. The grind doesn't know what day of the week it is. And it's so true, guys. It's like... It doesn't matter if it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The grind doesn't give a shit what day it is. You understand? I mean, that Sunday rest day, it's like, it's hard for me to rest. Because I know time is money, and time is so valuable. You can't take time back. And if if you're on that grind trying to, you know, succeed, you have to value each minute of the day, every day of the week. And you have to make some sacrifices on the way up. Remember, um, success, it, it's not its not a, a, a destination. It, it's, it's a state of fucking mind. It's, it's, it's an obligation. It's a duty that you have to have for yourself and your family to provide and to succeed. If you look at success as an option, you will fail. Make it, put it in your head that it's not an option. You have nothing else to do but succeed. All right? So, I mean, I had a, I had a lot of time to slack and, and be lazy and really just spend my energy on, on that temporary happiness, that temporary satisfaction when I was younger, you know, sleeping in until like 2, 3, um, not having... Any accountability, not having any any real goals. And it took me a while to realize where my life was going. But then I asked myself that 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 question in my head was like, where am I gonna be five years from now? And the real game changer was when I had my first daughter, Zoe, and I was like, I think I was 26, 27. I think I was 26. I was like, what the hell am I going to do five years from now? How am I going to provide for my daughter? And I couldn't answer it because I had no way of doing it. That's what changed my whole mindset. From there on, I was like, I got to, everything that I do has to have a positive um, turnout. If you're doing something and there's no positive um, result, then why are you doing it? It's just a waste of time. You're just spinning your wheels. You know, for the younger kids, 20, 21, 18, um, it's smart to really ask yourself, where am I going to be five years from now? What am I doing to get there? Because, yeah, you're living at home, you're comfortable, you're sheltered, but your parents aren't going to be there for the rest of your life. And you don't want to be a 30-year-old guy living at home or 30-year-old female living at home, you know, having your parents shelter you. And being sheltered is going to change your upbringing. 
you know, um, for you guys out there that, you know, have, don't have parents to, to fall back on and rely on, you know you're forced to do your thing and provide for yourself, for your family, whoever, you know, you have to. And that, that changes everything. But, you know, the kids, I was sheltered, I was spoiled, and... Um, a lot of it is just from my parents. They're 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 Filipino, old fashioned Filipino, and they provide and they spoil their kids and they work hard for their kids. And I, I that that value was instilled in me, so I want to do the same. But spoiling my kids, not teaching them the 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 hard work and the the responsibility and the, the value of money is not good. Um. So, just remember, success is not a damn destination. Once you get to whatever your goal is, you have to keep going. You have to keep planting those seeds. You have to keep succeeding. It just doesn't stop right when you, you reach that destination. Keep going and stay busy. You know, the, the, the busier you are, the luckier you'll get, the more, success will, the more success that will come to you. So keep grinding. The grind doesn't stop. You hear that more than enough, but I look at it this way. The grind doesn't know what day it is. Day, the grind doesn't know what day of the week it is. It doesn't give a shit. You know, the more you put in, the more you'll get back. So let's grind. A little hungry, guys. I'm headed to Aztec Taco to grab a breakfast burrito. Um, it just has beans, cheese, eggs, and uh, something else. There's not much in it. So I'm calculating, I'm just uh, guesstimating the macros, 25 fat, 100 carb, and uh, like 25 protein. So that's what, how you could do it. I mean, just account for something, be reasonable with the macros that you're accounting for, and uh, always kind of shoot a little higher than you would like it to be. Now you can manually put in macros. So just um, search on MyFitnessPal, just put in carbs, and then you can enter the grams manually. Same thing with fats and proteins. Um, I usually look at other listings that are similar to it, and then go from there. Take an educated guess. You know, I'm pretty good at guesstimating macros these days, just because I've been doing it for a while. But yeah, like I said, you know, guess more just to be safe. I got um, Lexi just watching the front desk for like five minutes. I already put in the phone order. Yeah, they made it fresh. I got to watch in front of the glass or make it. Saw exactly what you put in. Um, three whole eggs, the tortilla. Um, a good amount of cheese and uh, beans and that's really it so the macros that I chose are pretty pretty close I mean three whole eggs that's 15 grams of fat right there I might even bump it up to like 30 three whole eggs 15 five each and then cheese I would say about 10 and then five grams from the, the tortilla and then I got a uh, orange uh, mellow, is it mellow diet. Got the burrito in there. It's a good size. I'm gonna try to make. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to make one of those at home. I've never really tried heating up the tortilla, and that's what they do. They heat it up on the on the grill. Nice and warm. Very productive morning. Got a lot of work done. It's uh, 11:36. I'm sipping my pre my pre workout. I'm going to uh, get an early workout in. I was gonna wait for Tankster uh, to get out of school, so we were gonna train at like 6:30. But I'm just gonna knock it out. I feel feel good after that burrito. I think I'm gonna have a good workout. Goal is I'm gonna start incorporating pause reps. So I'm going to have to decrease my, my weight a little bit, but not much, I'm hoping. Because usually when I transition from a normal touch-and-go bench to a pause rep, it's not that much of a decrease just because I'm pretty 
pretty tight on my form. I don't use any bounce and uh, I come down and touch and then go up without a pause, but you know, it, it's still clean. So it's not a drastic change. You know, if you're going from like a bounce touch and go off your chest to a pause drive, it's going to be pretty, pretty, uh, a pretty big change. So your bench will change. To me, a pause rep bench is a true def definition of your your bench strength. It's a, it's it's a good gauge, and that's why that's that's the the form that's the form um, for meets. You know, whatever the form that's required, the technique at a meet to to get those three yellow lights. I think that's that's. That's fair. It's it's what a, f a rep should be like. So I'm thinking triples with 275, 285. See how I feel during warm ups with the pause. Um, yeah, for triples, thinking three to five sets of triples on bench, and then I want to throw in some some board presses with a, a little bit heavier weight. And then OHP, I'm going to probably hit some heavy triples. Heavy triples and then some dumbbell incline and then just the normal accessory fluff work after that. I'll take you guys with me. Hopefully I'll have somebody in here um, to be able to spot me on those pause reps. I just need someone to watch me. Just in case I, you know, all of a sudden go to failure. But uh, gym is full right now, so I should be okay. All right, we'll see how this 275 feels, pause reps. Um, like I said, my goal is triples. Uh, I want to match the intensity that I'm looking for. So an RPE nine, one left in the tank. That 275 felt pretty good. I think that was an RP like seven. Could have got five. So I'm gonna bump it up just two and a half pounds, or five pounds, 280 for my working sets of three. Uh, deliver something a little package I've been waiting for I'll unbox it for you guys in a little bit I'm excited new release Third set, feel good. Rest time in between sets is uh, about two minutes. And uh, each set felt about the same, if not uh, my bar speed. If anything, my bar speed was a little bit faster each set. But one more set of triples. So last set of uh, the board presses, I'm using the, uh, I think this is two inches, two inch board for a double, 300. So I'm taking a selfie. Look 
guys. The Ups man is a is a fan, a follower. What's your name? Chris. 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 I'm on my official break. So nice. Chris. Stop. Stop by to say what's up. You know. This big ass dude. How tall are you? Six five. Six five. I don't want to show this place some love. Look at him next to Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna consider this my first work and set 175. Just want triples, lower RPE. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, that was the RPE I was looking for, RPE. So I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna do, uh, ew, I feel good today. I'm gonna do probably uh, four sets of tresses. Yeah. My next move, a dumbbell incline. Um, five, to, five to eight reps. I'm gonna try the one tens. Pressing, some more pressing. I'm gonna do some standing single arm dumbbell press. Yeah, I really like those. I throw them in once in a while just to keep, keep um, my shoulders healthy. For some reason, when I do them, my shoulders just feel good, mobility-wise, just health-wise. So I like to keep them in. You guys are gonna do some chest flies. Three, probably three sets of 10 to 12. Got done with lateral raises, changed it up, just had had them seated just to isolate the, the shoulders a lot more, just having more strict of a form. Dropped it down to 25s or 20. No, 25s. Did about 10 to 12 reps, four sets. Now I'm gonna do some rope tricep extension. I'm gonna do four sets, same same rep range. Guys, time to have another meal. Son dropped off some Wobble Grill for me. Nothing new. See if I can fit a Quest Bar after this. Diet Coke with some lemon. I'm gonna enjoy this. It's about four o'clock. So it's been a good amount of time since uh, that burrito. The burrito had me feeling good for the workout. And I had enough time to digest it before I started. I want to show you guys the new tripod I got. It's a little bit... I paid a little bit more for the one that I had previously. 
This one's like forty dollars more. It was like seventy-five bucks. I got it at Best Buy. It's a uh, I don't even know how to say that. Man, Frodo. I broke the other one by accident. I see. See, I tripped over it and snapped one of the legs. So this one's a lot more heavy duty. I'm gonna go throw out the trash. I never, I keep, I don't leave the Wobble Grill in the office trash can or in the gym trash. It just, it smells pretty strong. And then I will open up my package that I got. I'm sure you guys can already guess what it is. I'm excited. Something new that most people don't know about yet. Clues. Yeah, good day so far. Had a lot of work done. Got my workout done. So, I'm probably gonna take off when Tankster gets here. He's gonna get back on the orders and then get his workout in tonight. It's nice and windy outside today. Cool breeze. Got the CrossFit place going off. It's uh, 4.35. About 4.30 actually. One thing that I do with all my clocks, with my car clock, my watches, I always set my clocks five minutes ahead of time. So five minutes fast. So it kind of gives me some play to be earlier. So when I think I'm five minutes late, I'm actually on time. It's a quick little tip there. It's not anything new. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have or do that or have done that, but it, it really helps. If you really want to step it up, go 10 minutes advanced. But the thing is like your phone is set up to your server, your service, and it actually has a real time. But if you wear a watch, then it'll work. All right, gonna unbox this bad boy. It's an orange box. My little cousin here watching, Joey. He's a little shoe whore too. <laughs> what are you wearing? What are those? Janowski's. Joey doesn't know anything about these. Oh, my socks. I forgot that I ordered a pair of socks. For leg day. You got these, Joey? They're the Nike Elite Vapors. They look comfy. The thicker, the better for um, when I wear the Romelios and the um, Reebok Power Shoes. Let me open these. All kinds of comfort. I'm gonna try these on Wednesday. All right. These are called the Nike Free Sock Flies. Look at Joy's face. These are sleepers right here. Nobody knows these. I was debating on these and the all black ones, but I thought the all black ones looked too plain. Woo! This color, they they probably call this the Fireberry. Let me try them for you. Look at the color. 
no shoelaces. And these have the Nike free 3.0s, just like the 3.0 fly nets that I have. It has one strap, no laces. Whoa. These are sick. This is a good pickup. Joey didn't even know about them. Let me cruise around. All right, Joey, cruise around them at a low profile. There you go. Those are clean. Ooh. You should get the murdered out black ones, Joey. <laughs> you go, I go, you stay, I stay. One song to sing